What's up, nerds? Welcome to the Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, 500 million health tournament. I'm excited to take you on an epic journey through this intriguing game. In this series, we have 32 same unit teams, each with a total of 500 million health points for every match. This series is brought to you by Aldi's, the grocery store where I can afford to shop. Last week's battle in round 30 was nothing short of awe-inspiring. The field was set for an epic showdown between 1 million catapults and 1,666,666 battle-hardened German soldiers. From the outset, the battlefield was a sight to behold. The German soldiers, known for their discipline and tactical prowess, held their formation admirably against the relentless onslaught of the catapults. The air was filled with tension and anticipation as the clash of traditional warfare and ancient siege weaponry unfolded. The catapults, utilizing their brute force and strategic acumen, launched an impressive barrage of projectiles. The ground trembled as massive stones were hurled toward the German ranks, testing their resilience and defenses. The sheer scale and intensity of the catapult assault left everyone in awe. As the battle progressed, it became evident that the catapults were gaining the upper hand. Their unyielding attack proved too much for the valiant German soldiers to withstand. One by one, the soldiers fell, and the catapult secured a remarkable victory, showcasing the might of ancient engineering. It was a truly historic moment, illustrating the potency of well-utilized siege weaponry against even the most disciplined of armies. The catapults emerged triumphant, leaving an indelible mark on the tournament and setting the stage for an electrifying finale. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for the most monumental event of this tournament, the championship match in round 31. Today, we witness a clash of epic proportions between 1 million catapults and 50,000 Sherman tanks, totaling a staggering 1,050,000 units on the field. In this titanic showdown, the ancient art of siege warfare embodied by the catapults faces off against modern armored might with the Sherman tanks. The tension is palpable, and the outcome is uncertain as these colossal forces engage in the battle of a lifetime. The stakes are high, and the battlefield is set ablaze with anticipation. Only one force will emerge as the ultimate victor, etching their name in the annals of history. Get ready for heart-pounding action and a display of raw power that will define the very essence of this championship. This is a battle you won't want to miss. Who will emerge victorious? This is... Not Good Enough Gaming. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hello, hello. Can y'all hear me? Hello, hello. I think y'all can hear me. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Anyway, welcome back. <laughs> if you've seen this before, uh, welcome if you have not. Well, if you haven't seen uh, these matches before, stop what you're doing now and go about 40 videos ago because this is the conclusion the finale of this crazy tournament that all actually started because I started with this game and I was curious on to to, to know who was the uh, like the strongest team of the characters uh, in the game were so Th then there was a 32 team tournament that that I created uh what with three quarters of a year later here we are um oh my goodness ladies and gentlemen thank you if you have been following this this epic journey of mine uh and playing this game which according to steam I've played for 88 hours so there's that um yes thank you hello everybody so um so as you know that this is the final tournament uh, or the uh, the final match of this tournament uh, so we have the ratio of 20 catapults to one tank so I need to know from the chat who is going to win catapults or the Sherman tanks so place your bets now because I'm curious to know so we got we got tanks the battle of a lifetime that is correct tanks will take it um okay lord lope is betting on cats again thank you um perfect so fun fact um let's see see if i can uh find the 
button here. Was it this one? Oh crap. Fail, fail, fail. Well, I thought I had it ready, but apparently not. The, uh, the thing is that the catapults are really looking strong, okay? <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, like, like, all the way across the board, it looks like it's in their favor. But, uh, we're gonna find out. Without any further ado, here's all the catapults. And there's all the tanks. Let's get this bad boy going, huh? And they're off. Okay, so we got another vote for uh, catapults. Love it, guys. Love the perfect emojis. And a quick break from our potential sponsor, Gatorade. It's got what plants need. Back to the match. So the tanks are looking strong. Again, we got 50,000 tanks and 1 million catapults. Good lord. There's all the tanks. And are they on brand? Yep, they are driving like they're drunk once again. It's a signature move. It keeps the the enemy guessing which way they're gonna go, I guess. There's no way Cat's gonna lose. Is that I-75? Uh yeah. Or maybe Fury Road. I'm not sure. Oh man, we got we got some hills on the uh, this battle line that's about to happen. So who is gonna fire first, catapults or the tanks? Not sure. You would think the tanks. I would think the tanks. But I'm always wrong. <laughs> yes, same, same. Fury Road is also known as I-75. Correct. Getting close and tanks fire first. Okay, can the tanks hold them off? I mean, they have explosive rounds, you would think. Now keep in mind, the, the tanks are outnumbered 20 to 1, meaning that their health is 20 times stronger than the catapults, but there are 20 times as many catapults. So, oh my god. Both teams are falling. 20 tanks have fallen and 3,500 catapults have. Looks like the catapults are trying to do their normal maneuver of like a little coordinated fire going on. And it looks like flanking is trying to happen, but tanks are not having any part of it. A uh, nice barrage of rocks going over. Good lord. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Tanks are scared. I think the tanks. And drunk. So the tanks are scared and drunk. Yeah. Cats are pussies. Well, yes, they are pussy cats. Uh, your mom is a pussy cat. Middle finger emoji. Love the way. Love that way get bloody. 
Oh, love that they get bloody. Got it. I'm going to say who's powering those tanks. Right. Sheer will. Alright, coming up on 400 tanks fallen. 21,000 of the catapults have fallen. Like bloody, like tank bloody? How? Why? Well, maybe the, the boulders are bloody. I don't know. A Scooby-Doo type reveal. Haha. <laughs> Old man Clippy. You, you're driving the tank. <laughs> Still 920,000 catapults and 49,300 tanks. Holy crap. Love it when that happens. It just creates a crater where, where all those tanks were, or the, the catapults were. Oh, the night is falling. Ready. Oh, and it looks like the, uh, the catapults are trying to use this hill to their advantage. Kind of lobbing the, uh the boulders over the hill where the, the tanks are not able to fire like down into the ground through the hill so that's definitely working in the catapults favor however this hill is only uh, so much in this, uh, this battlefield Coming up on uh, 1,300 tanks destroyed, over 51,000 catapults destroyed. Oh my. <laughs> Jesus, there's so many of them. <laughs> Oh, and they're doing their own coordinated fire there. Just bloodying them up. Seems seems the cats aren't doing as great as the Lord Lope thought. The game is still early. We're only coming up on eight minutes into this championship match. Anything is possible. We have seen in this in this tournament the tide turn multiple times in a match. I think that was with the red coats and the blue coats, the French versus the uh, the British. Man, was that a nail biter! The match that was completely evenly paced, where the uh, the evenly matched up. Thought one team was gonna win, then the other team was gaining, then the other team, you know, it, it was insane. Yes, that was a good match. And oh my god, it took forever. <laughs> oh, you gotta love these, uh, these rounds that are overshooting. And yet still causing damage. Oh, that one just kind of evaporated in the air. Good God, look how many there are. 
literally waves of these catapults. Oh, we got some stray shots. Coming in, knocking some out. I mean, how mad would you be? You're like, all right, I'm finally going to make it to the battle. Oh, break. Okay, now the tanks. The tanks are pushing. They're pushing the line for sure. They got an arc going on over here. But it seems to be a good formation for them. Woo! So the thing that the catapults have going for them for sure are the numbers. There's a lot of them. Now, earlier on in the match, the tanks can take a beating. Absolutely. But as the time goes on and they continue to take beatings, uh, they'll start falling more and more. Um, so it's, it's a matter of uh, endurance in a way. 47,000 tanks remain 736,000 catapults. Just over 11 minutes into the match and oh my goodness. This is the battle of the year. <laughs> As long as the catapults can continue to make it rain rocks over here, uh, the uh, the tanks will continue to, you know, receive damage, and eventually, you know, unless the tanks do that a lot more, which seems like they are. <laughs> But it seems like the catapults are are still knocking out the tanks. And it really is anybody's game. It's hard to it's hard to you know pinpoint who actually is gonna win, you know, early on. Six hundred eighty-five thousand catapults. Quite lovely. Do I see the tanks trying to make a flanking maneuver? Holy crap. It looks like the catapults are making a push up this little hill right here. Tanks are not having any of it. The moment those catapults reach the threshold of the hill, they are gone. Now, as far as the tanks go, it's fine if they miss their shot because they just need to shoot and hit the desert somewhere because with all of the catapults, they'll, they're bound to hit somebody.
sun is rising. All right, coming up on uh, 590,000 catapults remaining. 45 and a half thousand tanks. Let's see. Uh, Turk. I forgot they turn into cubes. Yes, yes. They they clean up their mess and they pack it up in a nice neat box. Good God. Whoop. I want to say that this is probably the the farthest uh, battle line that we've had, you know, as far as like the separations of the forces. Mainly because they have so much, their range is somewhat equal. And it looks like this is such a long, long battle line. Good lord, all the way over there. Looks like the catapults are pushing their way to the line there. Doesn't look like they are making a uh, countering maneuver, but looks like the tanks are. Little litter boxes. That's going to lose. That is adorable. Alright, coming up on 480 thousands catapults uh, quick math what's what's this almost 10 to 1 instead of 20 to 1 no that can't be right uh, I'm always trying to do math on the fly at the end of the week when I'm tired We got 44,453,000 4, of the uh, catapults remain. No maths. Because they're not perfect. <gasps> mm. Well, I think they're perfect for their time period. Unfortunately, they're coming up on uh, more modern technology. And, uh, they're getting wrecked. Tanks making a move, pushing forward, even as the catapults continue their advance. Tanks are pushing right back. They are pushing the battle line towards the catapults. As you can see that the tank or the uh, the catapults are able to get closer because of that hill. But it's just a matter of time before they blow up. Wow, the tanks just continue to do coordinated fire, creating a cavity inside the, the battle lines of the catapults. But 
The catapults quickly close up those gaps. There's plenty left to fill it in. However, 360,000 catapults out of the original 1 million are left. Still waves and waves of catapults remain. Holy crap. <laughs> Waves in a flood over here. Antipults bloodying up the tanks. Jesus. Well, Jesus is not here. Three hundred and ten thousand catapults remain. Forty, uh, yeah, forty-three thousand tanks. I mean, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> wow, what a great audience. Quarter of a million catapults remain. 25% of their force. Math! 42,000 tanks. Compared to the OG 50,000. Not looking good for the catapults. <laughs> Coordinated fire really does look so cool. It does, I'm telling you. Especially at night. It's almost like an airstrike, you know? Or like almost like a carpet bombing. One hundred ten thousand catapults remain. Crazy. There's no catapults behind me. And the line 
The line really didn't break. It just kind of dwindled. And here we go. The last little bit of the catapults here in the middle. Tanks are starting to split up, dividing and conquering. They're making their move. And we are at one to one ratio. Tanks now outnumber the catapults. Well, it looks like Turk knew that the tanks would kick ass. Coming up on 25 and a half minutes in the match. Tanks are close to victory. Catapults making a defense or offensive line there, but uh, tanks are literally blowing through it. Catapult making my way to the front line. Good God. <laughs> Sometimes cats have to nap, and clearly it's nap time. Yes, sir. Boom. 8,800 catapults remain. Now they're like sniping these guys. <laughs> oh man. 5,000 catapults remain and it looks like they're all over here. Catapults fighting to the very end really should probably spread out and not bunch up. Catapults are able to hold off on this little hill here, but the terrain does change over this way. Thirteen hundred out of naps. <laughs> Their attack is so stiff and wooden. All right. <laughs> Yes, if they were like turtles, they would run and hide back in their shell after they go out of bounds and continue running. 400 remain.
jump on 30 minutes. These catapults are putting up a fight. They're not going out quietly. 70 remain. And it's dark. Just a matter of time until the tanks come over the ridge. Three remain, two. And there we go. 30 and a half minutes, folks. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the championship matchup. Catapults versus Sherman Tanks, and who would have thought Tanks won? Congratulations. Congratulations to you all. Uh, that was a beautiful, beautiful matchup. <laughs> Got him! Got him! <laughs> Good job, everyone. That was a wonderful uh, tournament. Now I know tanks are powerful in this game. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Think that was it? Think that was it? Let's go to the chat. Let's check out w what people were saying. Looks like kitchen spoons. I know. More like ice cream soups or scoops. Ice cream soup? Mmm, smoothie. Uh, nice! Tanks. Uh, good job, Shermans. Yes, uh, it was rigged. The only thing that was rigged was the catapults that were in there. Okay. Uh, this rigging mechanism or whatever it was. Uh, they were going against modern or World War II tanks. I mean, it was boulders versus armor <laughs> and explosive shells. Uh, anyway, that was a good match. I do have something else queued up for you guys as a treat, as always. Uh, this one's a little different. Um, what I did was I brought back like the uh, the great eight teams, like the those players, but this time it's the winners. So the great eight winners. So we got uh, Nikola Tesla, Action Men, Laser Knights, and Roman Archers on Team 1. We have Shotgunners, Roman Generals, Catapults, and Stationary Artillery on Team 2, which is the Powerhouse Team. So we'll see if they will win. Uh, team 3, more Shermans, Orcs, Ghosts, and Spartans. Team 4, uh, Assault Soldiers, French Soldiers, Germans, and Modern Soldiers. So, this one uh, is going to be interesting. I have no idea how long this is going to be, or how quick it's going to be. I haven't even loaded it before, so <laughs> we'll see who spawns in. But anyway, let's see what we got going on here, folks. Get over to the gameplay. Clear the count. There we go. Oh my. This is Team 1. So we have the Archers, we have the, uh, the Teslas, we have the Laser Knights, and then, of course, Keanu Reeves. Uh, ba -bum -bum -bum. and then we will find all the others later. Uh, let's get this match going, huh? Hands free. Yay, technology. All right, let's get this going, huh? Oh, there's another team over here. It's more catapults. Oh, boy. And we got the Roman generals. They're armored. 
And we got some uh, shotgunners and the stationary ar artillery. Here's the trick. They don't move. <laughs> and there's uh, supposed to be 2,000 of them. Let's see. Nobody's over here on the cliff side. So, yeah. Let's see how that goes. Coming down the ridge and back up the hill to grandmother's house is the archers. And that is the artillery fire. Oh boy. So that is going to be interesting. Let's see if they will win. Interesting fact. Uh, well, if you guys might have remembered, um, the team that defeated the stationary guns uh, were the catapults. And they're actually on the same team. So, we will see what happens. <laughs> Catapults. Moving around. Oh man, this is so chaotic. I love the rain of fire though. I really do. Oh my god, what is all that? Shotguns maybe? Shotguns against the Keanu Reeve. Oh my god. I mean, it it does take an army. Interesting. Well, the stationary guns are definitely going to be a good defensive uh, point for Team 2. Catapults are making their way across the battlefield to the other teams. We got the Sherman tanks. So the tanks uh, are on team three with the Ghost, Orcs, and Spartans. Lots of gunfire in the air. And it's the French with modern soldiers. Oh my. That must have been a tank. Team 3 might have uh, a chance for the stationary guns uh, as far as like defeating them. But if the tanks don't survive and if the ghosts can't get close enough, yeah, Team 2 is going to win. Team 3 is, uh, excuse me, Team 1 is about to be eliminated. That's the Tesla's Action Man, Laser Knights, and Roman Archers. They got one left. All of the numbers are dwindling. Except for Team 2, they're looking strong. And Team 1 has been eliminated. Pretty sure the stationary guns did not help. Let's see. Um, Turret, you're rooting for Team 3, but not looking good. Love the French uniforms. Yes. Lovely. Got to love a man in blue. Running in red. To a barrel. Team three. Team three has been eliminated. That was the tanks, orcs, ghosts, and Spartans. I didn't even see any ghosts. Uh, uh orcs. There were supposed to be twenty-eight hundred of them. I guess the modern soldiers uh, wasn't going to wait. Oh my. And they get back up after getting knocked down. 
Some of them do. <laughs> nice. Okay, Roman generals coming up quickly. Oh my. Not looking good. The modern soldiers getting wrecked. It's the shotgunners. They're a tough force. There's 12,500 shotgunners on the field. Catapults banking their way down the field. This appears to be the last stand right here. The team four. With all even quantities, 3,333 of soldier assaults, French soldiers, German soldiers, and modern soldiers. So they're all soldiers. They all have guns. They're all ranged. Let's see if that will help. But uh, their entirety of their team about matches up the uh, the shotgunners and uh, it looks like it did something okay they're catching their breath team 4 896 and team 2 still 6115 left on the field it looks like that they wiped out the shotgunners Oh, they're just charging down the field once again. So it looks like we have catapults coming up on the ridge over there. We got trees spawning in. And we got more Roman generals making their push with more shotgunners. Lots and lots of shotgunners. Holy crap, where do they come from? Well, Team 4, I would just just keep on shooting. Just fire and fire away. And you guys, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Catapults lobbing some stones over. The good guy. Jokes bad, but the guns are good. Okay. Mm. Guns are bad. <laughs> All right, catapults coming in for the flank with some shotgunners in the middle of the field. Catapults making it rain. Shotgunners making it hail. Oh man. Not good. 70 remain of Team 4. 20, 10, 3. Oh my god. Well, Team 2. Took it just under nine, ten minutes of the match. Oh, my goodness! Well, that was fun. <laughs> so, again, those were the winners, those were the uh, uh, the great eight uh, of this past tournament. Um, 
I did the uh, the best of the losers. Those were always fun. Very similar matchups, but it was always the losers fighting each other of uh, the matches and whatnot. But anyway, eh, you should look back and look back at the last 40 weeks or something like that. It was some good times. Uh, but anyway, I have no idea what I'm going to do next week, but I will continue. Uh, i got to figure out something else. Um, as far as like another tournament or something like that, I don't know if I want to do that just yet. Um, it did take me some time to piece all of this stuff together and kind of get it organized and set up as far as like the graphics go and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, um, go week by week or something like that. Definitely love some input. I know that you guys want to have we need to have Jesus uh, Santa Satan kittens um, among like antelopes uh, more turtles I guess sea turtles maybe I don't know um, but anyway good stuff folks good stuff congratulations again to the Sherman tanks you murdered everyone <laughs> good job good for you well that's it for me um, I'm gonna go pass out now because all of this excitement um, anyway I had fun. I hope you did, too. Um, if you're not watching live with me right now on Twitch, starting at 10 p.m. on Fridays, um, I assume you're watching on YouTube. That's re-uploaded, um, you know, after it streams <laughs> live on Twitch at 10 p.m. on Fridays. Anyway, I'm out of here. Okay, bye. Smash that like button, tickle the little bell icon, and share this like it's the next viral video. This has been a production of Not Good Enough Gaming. No gamers were harmed in the making of this video. Thanks for watching.